Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Mass Effect. Hope you guys are doing well today. We are in the Soul area, or I guess in the local cluster of the galaxy map, but we're traveling to the Soul area. This may look familiar to some of you. Little planet here named Mercury, Venus, Earth. We got a transmission last episode that a soldier training AI went rogue killed a bunch of marines this thing is completely out of hand in fact i saved that audio for you guys if you want to hear it commander urgent message from alliance command coming in oh no i'll patch it through shepherd this is admiral hackett from alliance command admiral hackett yeah a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it what's wrong what do you need admiral there's an alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations one of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Is anyone hurt? How many casualties so far? 17 Marines were killed in the simulation exercises before we realized what had happened. That's when we contacted you. That sounds really bad. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Uh, is that the only option? Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. <laughs> He's trying to guilt trip me into it. The controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. It's pretty cool to be able to zoom in on Earth. For detailed information, please refer to standard issue Gal Alliance Galactic Codex. Earth orbit is riddled with debris generated by bootstrap space development. Use of kinetic barriers is recommended at altitudes of 85 kilometers. Population 11.4 billion. We're not that far off from that. Uh, population L4 and L5 stations. Oh, these are their space stations. Very, very cool. I believe the AI that went rogue was on our moon. What a flyover. Wow. You know, that's one of my goals in life, to be able to look down on our planet. How fucking cool would that be? To see our little blue marble in space. Sounds pretty amazing to me. So, not too much on the map here. The Alliance training ground already marked. We have some debris already marked. I'll poke around for a little bit, but we're gonna head over there soon. We have hostiles on the moon. I repeat, hostiles on the moon. I'm not even near anything to interact with. I was just exploring, looking for artifacts. They're on this hill. I'm trying to beeline it up to them as fast as possible. They must be at the top. I don't see them on the side here. Looks like four. These are turrets. So is this part Alliance heavy turret? I think this is part of the defense system that went rogue, but I don't mind taking it out. Oh my God, I jumped over that missile. So it's just, it's just four turrets sitting on a wreck. Oh, hello. I see something that way. Oh, that's the Alliance training ground. The CCP Luna 23. Uh, I can't interact with it. I had to reload my save. I think I got out. 
before the Nomad was fully parked, and it ruined everything. Yep, that's what it was. Heck it! From here, I'm just gonna go up the hill and, and try to get to this facility, see if we can do any good here. Oh man, look at that! What a view. What a view. I mean, they didn't have to add our solar system into this. They could have just made it, you know, we're way off in some distant land, you know what I'm saying? Who are these rockets shooting at? Yo, how did this AI kill anything? It's not even shooting at the same zip code as me. Maybe I shouldn't talk too... No, I'm gonna keep talking shit. I just killed in, like, one fucking rocket. Two more turrets over on the far side. They are in range. Whoop! Jumped over two fucking rockets! So each of these turret stations has two mounted to the top of it. Oh, and each of these can be entered as well. Interesting. Uh, so far, so good. My combat scanner's not picking up anything. Nothing whatsoever. We do have some decryption we can do here. Ooh, slow. It's like playing Frogger from a different angle. One enemy now showing up. This place is built right into the right into the moon. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's have Rex move up, or Ashley move up, and Rex move up there. I'm gonna start combat from back here. There's power junctions? Are these... Ooh, to be blown up? They might be. All right, what are we actually fighting? Assault drones, they're bouncing turrets. Oh my God. Oh my God, it hit me so hard. Fall back, fall back. Uh, I'm gonna use a Medigel for our team. I'm not much of a healer, but I can help out a little bit. All right, next enemy that comes down this hallway. Guys, fall back, fall back, fall back. Let me handle, get out of the door, Rex. Okay, I'm gonna hack it. I don't think it works. Uh, sabotaging, so they can't shoot at least. I never thought I would encounter tripods trying to kill me. <laughs> so did these blow, blow up? What are, why were they highlighting these power junctions? Oh, we do have some quest markers deeper into this place. Not seeing any more enemies. Well, I, I can definitely, I definitely understand how they killed some Marines. Uh, I have eight quest markers on my screen right now. I wonder if I'm just resetting this place or... Whoa! A V conduit. What am I looking at here? I wonder if the other buildings are just like this. I couldn't interact with anything in here. These power junctions that we see here are basically what the quest markers are deeper in the facility, but I couldn't interact with them in any way. Couldn't shoot them, couldn't overload them, nothing. You know, we have leveled up since the last video. We might be able to improve our hacking quite a bit. Indeed we can. So we can get up to advanced AI hacking. So if the other buildings here do have more AI like that, we can at least fight back a little bit better. I'm also gonna finish off my electronics. Maxed out. That feels pretty good. I'm just going to stroll over to this one. I'll leave the car parked there so I can differentiate which one I've been in. Actually, this one is on the southwestern side of this plateau. That'll also help, you know, using a compass or something. More enemies located ahead in here. I imagine this is going to be very similar to the last one. Advanced Assault Drone. Let's see if we can start off with a hack. 
The hack failed. All right, overload. That didn't fail. I think I straight up killed one. I'm gonna sabotage their weaponry as well, at least that one on the right side. I'm gonna stay down for a second, just let my team deal with this. I almost have a cooldown coming up here. Ooh, I'll take the kill though. Okay, another overload. I don't know where that one went. Wait, you guys have a fly mode? Uh-oh. Uh, let's go ahead and use a medigel. We'll also get Rex back up with our squad unity. I'm a little busy here. Overloading weapons. They can't shoot, take them down. Hey, sorry about that, Rex. You regenerate HP though, you'll be fine. I'm running with a very tanky squad because I'm super squishy. So as long as they're absorbing damage, they are doing what I want them to do. Looks like more things to interact with up ahead. Same kind of design. Looks like it's gonna be eight. Uh, power generators. But again, I don't... Don't know what to do with them. Oh, I can interact with this one. Data port access. That was just a codex entry. Anticlimactic. Rogue VI has taken over the Alliance training ground located on Earth's moon. Alliance command needs you to eliminate the VI. Okay. So there's a bunch of conduits that I can shoot and destroy. Three core conduits. One core conduit. So each building has these conduits. Oh, okay, so I just need to shoot them a lot more. They showed no signs of degradation before. Also, we're taking damage from toxic gas now, so let's go ahead and get that medigel rolling. Still trouble. You smell trouble? I can't smell anything. I'm gonna go back in the one that we park the nomad next to just because we already know that one's clear and i'll shoot the uh generators in there too after i destroyed the first one it says alert kinetic burial fields are powering up throughout the bunker complex that's a little easier to deal with than poisonous gas you can just shoot around it and i think you could even walk through these things are you stuck rex no okay so we'd have to shoot it but again that's a lot better than being poisoned. You know, we do have grenades. I hardly ever use them. I should rebind the key. I wonder if we could, um... I was gonna try to blow up a few of these at the same time, but it seems like that's out of the question. The second of three computing clusters containing the VI is offline. Yeah, this was just kind of a minor inconvenience. The last of the facilities is ahead of us. I'm Check interested out. to see how the generators are going to try to kill me this time. I only have two more medigels, so we're hostile running contact. pretty low on that, all things considered. Actually proclaiming hostile contact as we enter this facility. Oh, so do these effects overlap? So we have poisonous air in each of these, and now we have shields being th thrown around in each of these as well. I see. So if you're playing through along with us, I would probably save the poison gas for last. Granted, I don't know what uh, this effect is, but... It's eating through my supplies pretty quick. Uh, started off shooting, so I don't think we're gonna get a stealthy approach here at all. They're all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Grenade. 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 Grenades suck. Oh my god. Blow it up. Ah! Holy motherfucker. Okay. What do we have here? 
Ashley, how are your shields? You guys are both doing fine. Rex, let's get a barrier on you. Uh, I'm going to do a overload right here. Huge overload. Huge overload. Rotate a little bit. We're going to focus this fucking guy with a sabotage. That should stop their weapons. Now I'm going to get a hack on him as well. The hack didn't work. We're going to take down that rocket drone first, though. They still can't shoot for a moment. And I believe that's all the enemies taken down in one cluster. We did get a meta gel for that, so I'm going to heal a little bit. And I'm sprinting to the back. I want to get out of this place. All right, what do you got for me? Additional security drones are powering up. Hey, that just means more XP. I kind of wish we did that earlier. They're all on the other side, and they're stuck behind. <laughs> they're stuck behind the shield again. I don't think they know how to process that. So let's go ahead and finish this room. Rex, can you move, bud? Rex, can you get... A Rex, I'm trying to shoot that one. Rex? Buddy. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to use my last Medi Gel. All that stuff. Uh, okay. I definitely want to be quick here. Shield down. Pause immediately. We're going to overload. I guess I have to click it. No, not that. We want overload on the shields. We're immediately going to sabotage after. That's my one-two punch. Rocket drone down. No, rocket drone's still jumping. Two more in this room, and we used our abilities on it. So we're going to slowly move up. Whatever just hit me, hit me hard. There's just another drone on the left. Going to try to hack it again? Wait, it says it's hacked? If you're hacked, why are you still shooting us? All right, last four. Here we go. A burst of noise over all frequency nearly deafens you. Your hard suit heads up display interprets it into a series of zeros and ones. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights of the final VI flicker and die. Specialization class archived. What does that mean? I want to know what this stands for. Okay, I just did a quick Google search, and I think this says help in binary. It also says we unlocked a specialization class. I don't remember anything about specialization classes from when I played originally. Your specialization class will re replace your base class and the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain uh, with each rank of your specialization class. So operative. Operatives are masters of manipulating their environment to maximum advantage. Reduces the reach charge time of all tech attacks. Improves overload and improves sabotage. Or we could become a medic. Medics combine tech and healing abilities to boost the efficiency of the entire squad. Uh, I don't want that. I am definitely more of an operative. I'm just a computer nerd over here, dude. That sounds sick. So if we investigate this now, uh, squad... It still says I'm an engineer. Oh, but operative is here. So this is the talent that was giving me cooldown reduction. Does it give me more cooldown reduction now? Overload specialization. It increases overloads radius by two meters, explosion damage by 50, shield damage by 200, and damage vulnerability by 5%, reduces the recharge time on tech attacks by 22%. Yes, max it. Let's go, dude. Let's spam out abilities. I'm all for it. Back on board the Normandy. I imagine we're going to get a transmission right about. No, no transmission? 
Oh, it's all ramped up. We did what we needed to do. They didn't need us for anything else. Well, that's very cool that we got a subclass. I did not expect that to happen. Because we've been doing so many side quests next mission, we will conquer one of the main story quests. Thank you guys for your patience with me. I really enjoy side quests. I think it brings so much more of the game to light. This is supposed to be an epic adventure. I'm not trying to rush through this at all. I want to help as many people in the galaxy as we can. And that is my plan. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you. We'll be back tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with another episode. Take care. Goodbye.